lot of the advanced treatment techniques that mm -hmm. are cutting edge right now mm -hmm. in breast cancer. Sure. So what's really interesting to me is that not only are advances in treatment about finding more options, but also equally as important to me is seeing how we can spare patients treatments that aren't going to benefit them. And so there's certain, for example, genetic profiles that we do now on tumors where ordinarily a, a person might have needed chemotherapy. We can say, wow, this person has a tumor profile based on their specific tumor that shows that it's very indolent and they're going to do just fine without chemotherapy. And so those are big wins too. Um, of course, there's new drugs coming down the pipeline all of the time. Um, there, are, there are different techniques you know, in surgery. One of the things we're doing, a lot of nipple sparing mastectomies. Um, we're making smaller incisions than ever before. So when you say nipple sparing, do you cut off the nipple and save it? We don't. We leave it attached to, often nipple sparing mastectomy involves an incision underneath the breast oh. and just raising the skin up that way and leaving the nipple intact with its surrounding skin. Or we can make an incision out to the side and just go through there. How do so, you think of this? You know, there are people, many, many people, way smarter and way more uh, pioneering than me, who came before me. Um, and, you know, we, we build on each other's experience. And, um, and it, it's not just one person, and it certainly wasn't just me. So I'm a participant in doing this and helping to push the envelope forward, but there are many, many people who are involved in uh, making the care for our patients better every day. Do you feel as a woman, because you have breasts, mm -hmm. that you want to make sure that you can preserve the breast to the best mm -hmm. of the ability for your patient? Yeah. Do you feel I, that's, that's, that's why you're always looking for a new way to preserve the nipple, or is it just in you to think of a new way? I think it's a combination of things. I will say, for sure, aesthetics are important to me, um, and it's certainly important to me when it's important to my patients. Absolutely, there are patients who say they don't care so much, but most women are not that way. And I think if you can do a great cancer operation and give someone a beautiful outcome, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or do a great cancer operation and do a not so beautiful outcome, there's no choice. You always do the best you can aesthetically, as long as it doesn't compromise the cancer outcome. And that's the balance that we have to achieve. That's the challenge.